the this session has to do with the uh, preparation of lesson notes uh, the lesson notes as we all know is lesson notes or plan um, like I said is so uh, important and very essential uh, during teaching practice student teachers will come across various plans among these plans are the curriculum the syllabus a scheme of work units of work lesson plan and finally lesson notes um, it should be noted that one is generated from the other syllabus is generated from the curriculum the scheme of work from the syllabus the unit of work from the scheme of work the lesson plan from the unit of work and finally the lesson notes it should be noted that the last two which is the lesson uh, notes are usually done by the teacher so student teachers are particularly responsible for the preparation of lesson plan and the lesson notes the lesson plan and lesson notes should not be confused they are not the same there are two different documents in the hands of the teacher the lesson plan is a weekly schedule of teaching activities while the lesson note is a specific step-by-step -step guide to a particular lesson which may be of 40 minutes in the case of a single period or 80 minutes in the case of double periods so the lesson note is specific to a lesson uh, in class so when a teacher goes to class is armed with a lesson note which spells out everything is going to do within the period of that lesson our concern in this section is however the preparation of the lesson components of a lesson notes um, the lesson notes has some components or uh, what we may want to call them constituents and so an ideal lesson note must contain these components and this component could be grouped into four sections the first one we want to call the preliminary section uh, the second is the intermediary information uh, followed by lesson movements and lastly the concluding section so a lesson note can be compartmentalized uh, or divided into these four sections preliminary intermediary lesson movements and concluding sections um, starting with the preliminary what do we mean by preliminary section this is the section that carries biographic data and some main information as to the lesson such information will include the class to be taught subjects to be taught topic 
of the lesson, the subtopic or topics, time of the lesson, duration of the lesson, dates of the lesson, age range of pupils or students as the case may be. One might want to say they are preliminary and so they are not important. No, not at all. Um, they are very, very important elements of the lesson notes. Take for, take for instance, a, we need to know the class, to know the kind of topic we are to teach, to ascertain whether the topic taught by the teacher is relevant for that class or not, whether it is contained in the syllabus or not, whether it is contained in the scheme of work or not. A teacher might want to go outside what has been specified. So if I know the class, I know what has been slated to be taught in that class. The subject is equally very important. If, if you omit the subject, remember that some topics may feature in more than one subject. Uh, take for instance, if you talk about population, population may be taught in geography, population may be taught in biology, we have population in economics. So if you do not have a subject and you just said you just went out, out, on to the topic and you say population, I need to know population in what subject. Are you teaching population in geography, uh, population in economics, or population in bio, uh, biology? So the topic is very important. Of course, after the subject is the topic. If you have a subject, you must have a topic. You cannot teach the whole of um, English language. You can't teach the whole of biology in one lesson. Because it is a lesson, you are teaching just a bit. That bit you are teaching is what the topic is. So we want to know what topic you are teaching. Of course, some topics are very broad. When the topic is so broad, you cannot teach it in 40 minutes or 80 minutes of a lesson. And so you need to break it up into manageable units that can be taught in a lesson. And that brings us to what we call the subtopic. The subtopic, therefore, is the much of that broad topic that you can take in a lesson. So after the topic, you may have to do a subtopic the much you are going to present in that lesson. Take for instance in, the, in, in English, uh, if you are teaching nouns for instance, it is not possible that you teach everything in nouns in, if, in, in, 40, in a lesson of 40 minutes. So the teacher may want to have some topics. Maybe in the first uh, topic, in the first um, uh, lesson, he takes the subtopic definition of nouns and types of nouns. That's all he, he will be doing in that 40 minutes. So maybe the next day, in another lesson period, he might want to take forming plurals of nouns. It is still under the major topic of nouns, but different elements or, you know, or, or part of that topic will be taught in that lesson. You are taking much as much as could be presented in a lesson. So the subtopics very important time of the lesson is equally important and uh, what when when are you taking the lesson is it 10 a.m to 4 to 10 14 a.m or are you taking it 1 uh, p.m to 1 40 p.m we need to know the time and remember that time is very important in lessons there are some subjects you don't teach in uh, um, uh, late hours of the day lessons and topics that are uh, mental uh, that that require thinking are uh, better taught early in the day while those that are not too much of serious require serious thinking like music uh, and um, elements that are not too uh, serious could be taught in the afternoon um, imagine teaching mathematics in the last period you know so all this has to be put in so they are important despite that they uh, despite the fact that they are the preliminary uh, section of the lesson books, they are as important as every other part of the lesson. Now, let me talk about dates. Date is very important. And uh, supervisors, I pay particular attention at what you have there. Some students want to play smart. You do not date your lesson notes. And when the supervisor comes around, you quickly write a date. Of Obviously, you'll be caught because the ink you use would be different from those other uh, parts and some of you would shade and begin to uh, paint and you know uh, alter the dates all this tells how serious you are as a student teacher so every lesson must be dated appropriately age range of students are equally possible because we need to know 
the much you are teaching is it appropriate to the age of the learners or not so the preliminary subsection of the lesson note is as important uh, part of the lesson note. then the intermediary uh, information section of the lesson notes uh, contains the entry behavior the lesson objective or, or objectives instructional material or materials and reference material or materials uh, this is intermediary it is not yet the lesson itself but the information contained here are very very crucial and of course i'll start with the first one here the entry behavior the entry behavior is what the student come into the lesson with meaning what do they know previously that would enhance their understanding of the present lesson of the current lesson please let me sound this note of warning the entry behavior is not necessarily the last lesson the entry behavior is what they may know that may have been learned even outside the school system from the home or maybe in the previous class of course in some cases it might be the last lesson where the last lesson is related to the present lesson so the entry behavior is very important then we have lesson objective you can't go to class where you do not have an objective or objectives actually uh, it is rare to have one objective for a lesson of 40 minutes at least you have one two three um, objectives very important that is as a teacher before going to class what do you intend to achieve what are your goals these goals are captured in the lesson objectives at the end of the lesson students should be able to one define what nouns are list the types of nouns that's two three use nouns in sentences you know those are the objective lesson objective must be, must be well stated and uh there must be there are things we need to uh watch out for here a good lesson objective must be stated with action verbs measurable action verbs i said students should be able to define you can define is the, is the action word there so i can at the end of the lesson i want to find out i'll just tell them ask define it now so i can measure whether they are they can define or not define so the the term the action word must be a measurable um, action word so that is one then two it must contain a condition you know of performance as well as the level of acceptance that is at what level do i say yes they have been able to do which that which was planned in the lesson please let me say this on no account must you state your objectives using students should be able to know or students should be able to understand you cannot measure that it is not measurable if you say students should be able to know how do you measure no so it must be you know stated in terms action verbs and of course that are measurable students should be able to define should they, students should be able to list they should be able to explain they should be able to sing they should be able to dance they should be able to draw these are measurable terms so lesson objectives very important instructional material of course is also very important a teacher needs instructional material to to um, uh, facilitate easy learning you know these are every other thing you bring to class that will assist in the lesson um, of course instructional materials could be audio visual it could be audio it could be visual it could be audio visual what are you bringing what objects are you bringing please i need to say this here too please not all uh every no topic in any subjects that does not have there's no topic in any subject that does not have an instructional material every lesson must have an instructional material it is very important and please instructional material is not chalkboard duster and dust no 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 the chalkboard is not an instructional material the duster is not an instructional material except where you're using duster to explain concept is it is not because you are using a duster to clean the board you call it instructional material no the the chalkboard 
or the marker board as the case may be the marker and the uh, eraser i mean sorry cleaner are not instructional material the textbook is not an instructional material take notes um so but every other thing the objects the content the drawings illustrations you know uh majorly let me say this we want to see real objects think of what we call realia real object it is when you cannot think of real objects or you cannot lay your hands on the real object that you get drawings or illustrations you cannot be teaching oranges for instance and you want to draw an orange you bring orange you can at all time on every season we can get uh, you know orange and it's it is faster it saves you time to be explaining what orange is when you have the real object so it is when you cannot lay your hands on real object i begin to think of pictures diagrams illustrations and and all that then of course reference material very important the reference material does not equally have to be only the course book the textbook used in the class the teacher every textbook every material you consulted in preparing that lesson must be listed under reference material and that is why you have reference one reference two if you have three you can list them we know how versatile and how well researched your lesson is from your reference material so um, the intermediary information section of the lesson note contains the entry behavior lesson objective instructional materials of course we come to le lesson movement this is the core of the lesson this is the part of the lesson that covers activities to be performed by the teacher in the course of teaching as well as activities to be performed by learners during the lesson this section therefore entails lesson content teacher activities and student activities of course in you have to give the lesson the body of your lesson the content of the lesson has to be uh, there's a portion of it in the lesson notes where you write out the content of your lesson very important then after that you come to the procedure in the lesson notes where you have to tell what your activities under introduction what does the teacher do under the lesson procedure proper which is in steps you tell us what the teacher does in step one what he does in step two what do students do in the course of that lesson so step one maybe teacher defines the concept of transportation or communication as the case may be step two and explains then step two teacher mentions the means of communication or means of transportation you know teacher asks students to list more means of communication you know so both teacher and student activities are, are, are contained in the lesson movement um after which is the core of the lesson pro uh, proper it is usually in steps steps one steps two three four five until you exhaust everything you are supposed to present in that lesson and of course it should be noted that the presentation which is in steps are presentation of the content what you have in the content and what the things you present in the procedure and that informs the activities of course we have the concluding section this section of the lesson that entails activities that wind down the lesson this includes summary or recap of salient points before you leave the class you want to run through the major point of your lesson that's a recap or the summary and then evaluation of the lesson you can't teach without evaluating you you had some set objectives at the beginning of the lesson you want to find out at the point of evaluation if those objectives have been realized or attained as the case may be so if you said students should be able to define now in your evaluation you want to say define now or what is it now and when a student can give answer to that then you know you have achieved that objective of asking them to define a now and if you say a student should be able to list the types of nouns of course in the evaluation we should have what are the types of nouns so the student tell you and you know so evaluation of lesson very important of course when you have evaluated it is expected that is it in as it were this uh class work uh, you know evaluation is the classwork of course we have assignments assignments is what you ask them to do as take home that could enhance you know further 
drive home the point they have learned in the lesson or prepare them for the coming le uh, lesson. So assignment is very important. We expect that you engage them. Don't leave them uh, with just the class work. Give them assignment. Let them do further research or get ready for the next lesson. Uh, the um, uh, component of a lesson note. However, I want to particularly present the Taswet lesson note format. Of course, just like what we have um, listed, all these are contained here. It is the, the Taswet lesson note format is divided into two parts, part A and part B. Part A entails the name of the student teacher, very important, so that the supervisor will not have to stop you while you are teaching to ask for your name. The name would have been written on that lesson you are teaching so he knows your name from there your matric number too must be stated you don't he doesn't have to stop you and say uh student teacher was your matric number uh, of course class or classes you must say this is gs1 a to e or gs1 very important you list the, you mention the class of course tp weeks means uh when you start tp we have first week second week third week and the tp week might not be the same with week of the term um, remember, as, at the time you are joining the TP, the school may have resumed. You, have, you may be joining in week four of the term, but that week four is your own TP week one. So you must at every time tell us what week of TP you are and what week of the term. You know, there are two different things. The TP week is when did you start? First week of TP, second week of TP, third week of TP. And that third week of TP might be the sixth week of the term. Or the seventh week of the term so we must separate this of course the subject i've told us how important the subject is you have to state the subject is it mathematics is it biology is it um, health science is it um, mathematics english language oh, and all that so that's the subject the topic of course you state the topic the subtopic you have to mention because um, you might not be able to take everything like i said so you break them down into much that much you can take in the lesson time of lesson is it 10 to 9 or 10 a.m to 10 40 a.m you must tell us the time duration of the lesson is it um, 40 minutes 35 minutes or 80 minutes of double period you have to stay then of course the dates um, very important then the part b of the lesson plan entails the following entry behavior i said it earlier what the students already know that will enhance their understanding of the present lesson so it must be stated students have been taught something if it is what they have been taught in the previous lesson that will help them understand the present one or students uh pupils have known uh, know how to do something where you know that is the entry uh behavior and then we have uh, the uh, instructional objectives i've talked about that every lesson has instructional objective it must be stated well stated uh, in measurable times containing the conditions and the level of acceptance um, instructional materials i've talked about that too what are the things you are bringing to class to help you in the teaching you know that you use to drive home your points you know uh, instructional material of course references every good uh, lesson note must have a reference because the content for instance will be generated from the text might not be all from your memory so tell us the text you have consulted from where you have gotten your lesson content then the content lay out the content usually it might not be everything but the bone the, the major the highlight of your lesson must be uh in some cases you may have to do an attachment if the portion of the lesson notes is not enough to contain your content you may add a paper stiffly to that page and then continue with the content but it is advisable you don't give too long um, notes to your pupils. Of course, their textbooks are there to complement whatever you have done. Then procedure, which entails introduction. Every lesson must be introduced. In other times, we call it set induction. You must set induce your class. You must introduce your lesson. And usually make that very fascinating. Make it very attractive, very important, very interesting. So that the students will have interest in your lesson. And then from the introduction, you go to your lesson steps. Step one, step two, step three, step four, until you have, you know, exhausted everything you have to do in that lesson. Then evaluation, you evaluate your lesson, ask questions on 
you know, related to the objective at the beginning. Of course, give assignments. And then finally is the portion I call the endorsement, where the student, we have student teachers remark. You know, that portion of it is usually left open. No, you have to tell us, was that lesson successfully taught and examined? Or that lesson couldn't uh, be taught because um, the school had an activity that did not make you teach that lesson. That aspect, you know, state it there. Then the official comment comes in two forms. We have an official comment of the uh, cooperative teacher of the HOD. They must go through your lesson and be sure that it is well uh, written and then they endorse it. Satisfactory, well written, and they would sign. Very important, please. It is very important that your cooperative teacher of the HOD or whoever has been assigned to monitor your lessons signs that portion of your lesson notes in every lesson before you go to class to teach it. And finally, of course, we have the official comments. Uh, it could be the supervisor who comes around to supervise you that will sign that portion. It could be the monitor because uh, the TP board goes on routine monitoring. So if it's that, the person will write some comment there and sign. It could be the internal moderator. You know, we have internal moderators. And then finally, it could be the external moderator. That portion is for them to make their comments and then assign and endorse your lesson notes. Ladies and gentlemen, uh um that is it uh, a sample of the lesson uh, plan of password is attached here for your you all have uh, that you you all be given a lesson note and this is what it looks like head of uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you for listening god bless you have a most fulfilling teaching practice exercise good day